Hooray, it's time for The Good Life. By Weezer, for Casserole, Bali Song Boy, Campbell M, Das Koi, Mark Rosario, and Guitar Virgin. But before we begin, I had purple sweet potatoes for dinner last night, so I would like to extend a purple sweet potato thanks to Tabitha Crump and Brian B. for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Lady and gentleman, thank you so very, very much for your support. And if you would like to know what that's all about, of course, the link will be in the description. Wah. We have to put our guitars down one half step. That's called detuning. So instead of Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie, you will have E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. All the strings go down just one note. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video on how to do that, and I will put that in the description. For the intro, grab yourself a G bar chord. Three, five, five, four. You're gonna strum it three times. And then, this is what Brian does, and this is what I believe I hear on the studio recording. The ring finger and the pinky finger stay on the A and the D strings, and you move them down to E minor position. It's so quick that that's the way you want to do it. I watched some live videos, and Rivers simply went like this just an E power chord there, but on the studio recording I certainly hear the high notes in that E minor chord. But either one is perfectly fine by me. For the verse, we are going to need the aforementioned G bar chord, a D bar chord. Weezer loves to put low fifths in the bass, so if you want to extend that pointer finger to get the E string as well, that wouldn't be a bad guess. Could neither confirm nor deny, but you'll have 55777, five, seven, seven, or just starting on the A string, 5777, seven, 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 followed by an A minor bar chord, that's 577. Seven. And then an E major bar chord, same shape as the D major bar chord, but two frets higher. Include that low fifth if you find it prudent. So we're gonna go G, D, I like the low fifth, A minor, E, yeah, G, you know, twice, oops, minor, and then twice as fast, G, D, A minor, and back into the next verse. The second verse has that super cool octave chord part. You're gonna have A string 10th fret, G string 12th fret, I'll call out the pointer finger fret and the ring finger fret, or pinky finger fret if you like, will move along in kind. It's gonna be 10, 9, 12, 11. But let's take a moment to talk about why that works. The first chord is G. This octave here, on the first one we play, is G. So it's playing the root of the chord that the band is playing. The second chord is D, but this octave moves down one half step to F sharp. That's the major third of the chord that the band is playing. The third chord, of course, is A minor, and the octave chord moves up to A on the 12th fret of the A string. The root, again, of the chord that the band is playing. And the next chord, E, the octave chord plays G sharp on the 11th fret of the A string. That's the third, the major third again, of the chord the band is playing. So what you're really hearing when you hear this really cool octave part is root, third, root, third. Oh, Weezer. After the second verses twice as fast section, we go into the chorus. So you'll be all G, D, A minor, B, and then the last time G, D, A minor, B. And this is an excellent chord to be playing because we're going to C next, which means we're just going up one half step to get to the beginning of the chorus. You can play the whole bar chord, you can play the power chord, you can play the power chord with the fifth in the bass, doesn't matter. Play a C, up to D, G, and E minor, or the E bar chord there, right? But that's the only time we get to play C. The rest of them are A in that first chord position of the chorus. So A minor, or A power chord. D, everything else is the same, G. the A 
string, 12th fret like you mean it. Or really, you could make any noisy noise you want there. Watching the live videos, lots of different noisy things happened each different time. But after the second time we make a noisy noise, we're going into the mess of a bridge or solo, which is gonna be G sharp power chord on the fourth fret of the E string, to C sharp power chord on the fourth fret of the A string, and C on the third fret of the A string. So, then we're gonna do the exact same little pattern there starting on the E string second fret. So E2, A2, A1, G sharp, C sharp, C, F sharp, B, A sharp. For the rhythm section for the solo. But the solo section of the solo is contained within the E major scale. But I want to put you in this position here, so we're technically learning the C sharp minor scale, but they are relative pairs. That means they have the exact same notes in them, it's just a matter of where you start. So, start on C sharp here on the ninth fret of the E string, and go 9, 11, 12, A string, 9, 11, 12, D string, 9, 11. Reset our ear balls here and start again on D11. G8, 9, 11, B9, 10, 12, E9. And then we can continue up on the 11th frets and the 12th fret of the E string and you'll recognize things like signature stuff out of that solo. So just get to know that scale there and do your own stuff any of those notes are gonna be perfectly fine and wonderful. But Weezer had this problem, they invented this totally wacko bridge here. And they had to get back to C to go back into their, you know, out, doodly outro thing, soft chorus dealy that, that they do. Um, so what they do is they play the... And then when they reach that F sharp, they hang on it and then play B, F sharp's most associations of this song, B's most important job is to go to C. So it'll be... And then it turns super chill. It's the chorus chords. Just, you know, barely breathing on your strings. And you only get to play that C the first time. Then it's A. start singing, you start chugging a little bit. And then the last time you play your A, and then B into the last chorus. <laughs> And so on. Oh, and speaking of things, the jam for that barely breathe on your strings section is contained in the G major scale, aka the E minor scale. It's the exact same shape we just talked about. We're just going to move it up to starting on the 12th fret. So 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, 15, 12, 14. We're going to start our ear balls over there on D14, G11, 12, 14, B12, 13, 15, E12, and of course, continuing up to E14 and 15. That sounded like E minor because we started on E, but play it with the song and it will magically sound like G major. And that pretty much takes care of everything. The last thing to say is when it reaches the A, the very last time, in the very last chorus, for the last time. You hang on it for eight beats, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, E, 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 end it on a whole bunch of E bar chords there. That's it for The Good Life by Weezer. I love that song so much. Thank you for that request. When it goes into that last chorus, it's one of the best moments in music. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.